Hi everyone, it's Uzworm, and I am here just uh, giving a quick overlook of my new Minecraft Realms. It's uh, called the Oozcraft server, very, you know, very creatively of me. So the Oozcraft server is a Realms that I recently opened up. Um, it is connected to my Patreon, people who pledge $5 or more get access to it. I just wanted to show off the seed because I think it's a really cool seed that I got here. Uh, it is a survival server, don't mind me flying, that's just uh, gaga magic. Uh, this area is really nothing special and that's probably what you'd see on most survival starter areas. Uh, but what's really important about this seed is the uh, placement of the biomes here. Here's a map of the entire place and you'll notice that it's a super good map. Right in the middle where you spawn, there's a bunch of plains with some roofed forests around it, and there's also some oak forests and some birch forests if you go uh, just around a little bit. And you, each direction is another different biome. Starting off to the north, uh, we have a village here to start with which is always important on there, but if you go for, there's an enderman down there, what the hell? If you keep going to the north for long enough, you will run into a very large jungle biome. And jungle biomes are both my favorite biome in the game, and a little coral reef as well. They're both my favorite biome in the game, and they always seem to elude me. So I made sure when I was doing this, that I found a seed that had a jungle somewhere near spawn there because I love jungles. I love having access to melons and parrots and ocelots and jungle wood, jungle leaves, all the all the wonderful accoutrements of your average jungle. Uh, and it's it's really close to spawn. We're only about a thousand blocks away from spawn, and we're halfway through the jungle there. By the way, I have a fire tick turned off, so uh, this happened. Just an eternally burning forest. <laughs> Dark oak. I think it looks neat. Going to the south, the first thing you'll notice is that we're going to be passing by my base here. I'm building a, essentially a giant tree. Uh, we go through a swamp biome to start with, which is always nice. If you don't want to find a slime chunk, you can always find slimes there. And I think it's the only swamp in the area, but past that is a mesa, which is good. It's also got a desert on the edge of it, which is good for sand. There's tons of red sand. So if there's any need for clay terracotta or anything of that sort, this mesa is huge. It's actually bigger than I thought it was. I've never actually gotten this far into it before. This is... A super big mesa. Holy crap, we could get a lot of terracotta out of this one. I'm not building with terracotta. Maybe I should build with terracotta, because... Dear God, I've, I have more than enough access to it. Wow. Still going, by the way, and I just found an abandoned mine shaft uh, exposed on there. Does this thing ever end? Wow. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think I finally, I think I finally hit the end of it. Um, but I've run into some uh, snowy plains areas here, which leads me to my other, next cardinal direction. If you go to the east from spawn, you will start to run into spruce trees, and eventually snow. The cold biomes are all to the east there, including a pretty big ice spikes biome right here so if you are in any need of you know snow or ice or spruce or anything like that this is the place to go and this place is massive it is a massive ice spikes biome that stretches all the way to the south of that mesa from earlier that's why we were uh, seeing snow and things down there look at this thing that is cool to the west we have a bunch of sand there's deserts and savannas and all kinds of other stuff if you keep on going to the west. And as you can see on the map here, it, it all of these are only about a thousand blocks from spawn. So it, if you need 
basically any materials. You can find all of them pretty close to the spawn locations, the spawn chunks. Uh, I would I would highly recommend checking it out. Yeah, like I said, this is just the seed for it. I might do another video detailing all the stuff that the people who have been on here have been building. Tangled String has a mine and has been building a bunch of paths and stuff. I've obviously got my giant tree and Pox is on here as well. Kind of taking over the village that you saw just north of the town. Uh, but I just wanted to show this off the seed just to show it's a pretty cool seed. I've got it on the bottom of the screen here if you want to use it for your own Minecraft world. And yeah, like I said, Patreon users of five dollars or more get access to the usecraft server if you wanted to join in with us uh, okay thank you very much for watching and have a good rest of your day